mga boss. Yan yung way pa uwi. Pero maganda siguro itong Akyatin. Yung Yautso Mountain. Tayo natin yung ahon dito. Alam naman pag ahon. Akyatin natin. Aim.
pull up skirts. She pull on shirts, trying to hold up, mama put in work. Now pretty lady, lady, baby girl, no, she don't twerk. The way she whine and grind, you make my go berserk. Crazy how you got me in my feelings, me not jokes. She love the coco, H&F on the slow show. Whatever you need and I provide, me not jokes. So. Still she love it with my jokes. So. Say she trying to slide out with her red. Anytime just build my celly, no matter the web. When I bust a shuck, you tell me ain't nobody better. I be getting checked. Now we dripping in my shell.
you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. It's like you can have the best ship in the world, you can have the best airplane in the world. If the pilot or the captain doesn't know where to go, it would just drift around. It would not end up anywhere or most likely in the wrong place. So I was very fortunate that I stumbled onto my vision. My vision was totally different. I felt that I was born for something special, for something unique, for something big. I knew where I was going, that I'm going to become this champion. So it was just a question of how do you do it? Because when you have a goal, when you have a vision, everything becomes easy. So people always ask me, they say, why is it that you're working out so hard? five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And they told people all the time, I said, because to me, I am shooting for a goal. Every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal, this vision, turn into reality. I felt so great knowing where I was going, and I tell you, it worked. I mean, think about it, and at the end, I was just not visualizing just my exercise, but I was really lifting the trophy over my head. That's what I was thinking about. Everything I ever did, the thing that I heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible. That can't be done. So whenever someone said to me, it can't be done, I heard, it can be done. When they said no, I heard yes. And when they said it's impossible, I heard, it is possible. Everything is always impossible until someone does it. Well, I'm going to be the one, I said to myself, I'm going to do it and I'm going to show it to them. Maybe it has never been done before. That's perfectly fine with me. But I'm going to do it. And I did not listen to the naysayers. It's all about the hard work that you put in. I didn't listen to those losers. I didn't listen to them at all. It's a very important lesson for all of you. So when someone says, no, this is a stupid idea, you in your mind, you don't have to say it, but in your mind, just say this, oh, fuck you. Work your ass off. There is no magic bill. There is no magic out there. You cannot get around. You have to work and work and work. I can tell you. And it drives me crazy when people say that they don't have enough time to go to the gym for 45 minutes a day and work out. We have 24 hours a day. We sleep six hours a day. So it gives you still 18 hours. See how much time there is available if you organize your day. So you got to work hard. There was not one single minute that I wasted. And this is why I'm standing here today. And Muhammad Ali worked his butt off. And I saw it firsthand. And I remember that there was a sports rider that was there in the gym when he was working out and he was doing sit-ups. And they asked him, how many sit-ups do you do? And he said, I don't start counting until it hurts.
think about that. He doesn't start counting his sit-ups until he feels pain. That's when he starts counting. That is working hard. So you work your ass off and then you let the world know about your work. That's what it is all about. I hate plan B because we have so many doubters. We have so many of those people that say no and you can't do it, it's impossible. But when you start doubting yourself, that's very dangerous. Because now what you're basically saying is, is that if my plan doesn't work, I have a fallback plan, I have a plan B. And it's very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net. Because plan B becomes a safety net. It says that if I fail, then I fall and I get picked up and I have something else there that will, that will protect me. And that's not good. Because people perform better when there's no safety net. And the reason, one of the main reasons why people want to have a plan B is because they are worried about failing. What is if I fail, then I don't have anything else? Well, let me tell you something. Don't be afraid of failing because there's nothing wrong with failing. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. There's no one that doesn't fail. What is not the okay case is that when you fail, you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. And winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. Let's just go all out and give it everything that you got. That's what it is all about. So don't be afraid to fail. kung gaano katalik ang dinaanan natin Woo. so tara, uwi na okay lang mabike thank you Edmond A few moments later. Yan mga boss.
few inches later. Mga boss, break muna tayo sa convenience store. Naka 83 ano tayo, kilometers eh. Hindi pa tayo magpapahinga. Hinga muna tayo. Much, much, much later. So mga boss, kakawi lang natin. Ah, tingnan natin sa data kung ilan nakuha natin. So, naka 116.7 kilometers tayo. Tapos 4,100 calories. Oh, kapagod. So mga boss, thanks for watching. So, kung na-enjoy mo ng video nito, like-click na lang ang like button. At kung hindi pa kayo nakon-subscribe, subscribe na lang for more future videos. Maraming salamat mga boss. Bye!